you've got a sequence at 16 by 9 you want to change it to 9 by 16 for Instagram TikTok maybe YouTube shorts or you want to change it to one to one square aspect ratio or something completely random but for today's example we're going to use 9 by 16 okay as you can see we're in premiere we've got a clip on the timeline already it's a shot of my dog cubby um, it's just a slow push in that I shot on the iPhone just for the purpose of this tutorial uh, But if you want to change this to from widescreen to vertical we want to go up here to sequence Sequence settings and you can see here at the frame size It's 1920 by 1080 and it confirms that it's 16 by 9 aspect ratio So as it's grayed out you want to click on editing mode bring this drop down menu and scroll to the top Click on custom which is now going to unlock these two fields and all I want to do for this purpose is swap these two figures around so we'll put 1080 in there and 1920 in there and it's going to confirm that it's 9 by 16 aspect ratio so we'll click OK click OK again and you can see it's now changed the sequence settings and the preview uh, window so you can see that we've got some extra information at the top and the bottom of our clip so you want to fill this so make sure that your clip is selected you'll have now have the motion tab open and if we scale this up we can scale this up to I think it's 178 to fill the frame and if we play the clip now we've now got our video playing in portrait but there's an extra little tip as you can see it could be slightly off center there so if we go over to the motion tab um, these two position uh, fields um, your left hand side is your um, horizontal adjustment and the one on the right is the vertical adjustment so all we want to do is now um, adjust this horizontally so we'll click here and we'll just drag to the right and we'll place cubby in the center of the frame and if we play this again now is now more central to the frame um, so that's it for this tutorial nice easy quick one if you found this useful please give it a thumbs up uh, if you didn't you're more than welcome to give it a thumbs down uh, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and if you do I will see you in the next one